Developing at 11 o'clock, the large investigation into the explosive crash that killed five children on their way to Disney. ABC Action News reporter Ryan Smith with the vigil happening tonight for the lives lost. Tonight, our first look at the faces of the children who died in a fiery crash on I-75. Seemed like they were going to have an amazing time, you know, worship God. A trip to the happiest place on earth tragically ends just one hour from reaching the gates of Disney World. Five of the seven dead were children from this Pentecostal church in Marksville, Louisiana, where a vigil took place only hours ago. 13-year-old Evan Courtney lost a friend from Bible camp. I didn't believe it, you know. It's like... I, I couldn't believe that something like that could happen so quick. Investigators say a semi truck and car collided, then tore through a metal guardrail, the explosive pile up causing chaos outside Gainesville. Lorraine Courtney said this prayer for the church group before they left. I ask for travel and grace for your servant to make it to Florida safely. Amen. Tonight, she and so many others are relying on faith and fellowship to get through this loss. The prayer was to um, pronounce life. I do know that there's life after death, and I pray that all the occupants were saved. The children who died include a fourth, fifth, and eighth grader. Please keep us and these families in their thoughts and their prayers. Four children and four adults still remain in the hospital. Ryan Smith, ABC Action News.